Hey guys, Kevin Tates, welcome to the channel. Today, we're in the paint booth talking about airflow because it plays a huge role in how well your paint performs and how good your paint jobs come out. If you like what you see, if you learn anything from any of this, click the link below. You'll find my Paint Education University course. It's filled with great stuff that I've picked up over 30 years of time and hard work that I want to pass on to you and help you become a better painter. So if you like what you see here, click the link and learn something. All the temperature ranges on paint products are based off of adequate airflow. So what is adequate airflow? Well, there's an easy way to figure it out. My semi-downdraft paint booth is 14 feet wide by 9 feet tall by 26 feet long. The air volume of the booth is measured in cubic feet. Multiply 14 times 9 times 26, which are the dimensions of the booth, and that equals 3,276 cubic feet. The typical air velocity on a spray booth is around 100 feet per minute. The total flow rate through the booth is 14 times 9 times 100. That would be 12,600 cubic feet per minute. The amount of air changes can be calculated by dividing the flow rate by the air volume. So on my booth, the air changes 3.8 times per minute. In any given spray environment, you want your air to change about two to three times every minute. A project in the booth makes a difference to the velocity of the air in the booth itself and can increase airflow significantly, but measuring the flow with nothing in it will get you a good baseline. If you know me, you know I'm a tool junkie and I don't mind spending money on good equipment. But this anemometer was 15 bucks and it gives me great information that I need and that you need to get a better paint job to understand your surroundings. So if you like what you learned here, click on the link below, log into Paint Education University. It's a course that I'm so proud of and you need to learn this stuff. I want to teach you. It's taken me 30 years to accumulate this knowledge and I want to pass it on to you. So click the link, come and see me at Paint Education University.